Okay, we've been working on this Terminator X. It's on a 91 Ford Fox body, and it's the uh, Ford kit. Um, when we got it, this idler control was set up as 5 liter Ford, and it shows IAC type as a stepper motor. Um, that's not going to work, and the way you change this, this is kind of what's throwing me for a loop for a little bit. I'm going to show you how to change it. Uh, what we need to do is we're going to go ahead and change this from the stepper motor to PWM and that frequency you need to set that at 315 because it sets up at like uh, 1 or something so set that up at 315 and then what we're going to need to do is then we're going to need to look over here at our pin map and you're going to then look at the outputs and after you see that these outputs you're going to see this IAC PWM Right, so what you're going to do is you're going to take this PWM, if we can get it to drag over here, you drag it over here and look, see that how that turns? In order to see it, it lets you drag it there and then your IAC PWM drags right there. So if you look up here, it says drag and drop IOs to available pins. So what we've done is now we've done the IAC PWM is now on output 4, which is where that wiring harness assigns it, the factory, uh, the Ford breakout harness. And then we hit the done button up here. And then what we should do is we should be able to go back here. Let's do, we're going to do our USB link. This is one of the things that we're going to basically link it. And now it says it's online. So what we're going to do is we're going to look down here. And actually we'll go back to the eye layer up here. And let's look at the park position. Because right now I had this cranked way open. And what it's going to do is it's going to idle way up. It's going to bring it down. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch these numbers here. We're going to start the car. And you'll hear it going to go real high idle. that's because that park position is way open so that idle air is giving us plenty of throttle probably at 20 2500 rpm and then look at how far that thing drops down it drops down to like 58 57 and as you look at it that's set at 100 so we don't really need to have that that high because it idles up real high and then every time we shut off the car it's going to reset um, and it's going to restart depending on what the temperature is. So that idle is at 50% there. So what we've got is we've actually got idle at 1200. And that's about where, actually I have it. If you look at the IX settings, I'm going to click over here. And actually idle speed. Okay. So what's the idle speed set at? We're at 1200 right now, so it's exactly where it needs to be. Um, the IAC position is way open, and if you want to check this, what we do is we take this, let's drag it, actually click up on the top, let's put it at 1000, and hit enter and see what happens. There we go. So there, so do you want to see if your idle air is working? Let's put it at, let's go back, let's put it at 800 and see what happens. Change that to 800. There it goes, but see it's over here at the next one over now since it's warming up. So we're going to change that to 800. And there you go. So what did it do? We're at 915. Our act position's down at like 12, 10, 9. It's trying to settle out. It's 1%, 0%. So here's the thing. So trying to maintain that, it's back the idle position way off. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the, even though the TPS up there is showing, right up there you see the TPS, even though that's showing. Right there, we got TPS at zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually back off the throttle screw and we're going to see what it does. 
So that's how you set it. We're gonna pack this up and watch it.